Zap, 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 lightning, zap, zap, lightning, lightning, fade out. Hello everybody, it's me, the Lego Dude, and in today's video I'll be making a list of every single Lego Star Wars set releasing on September 1st from worst to best. This is just my opinion, so if you have any disagreements, please make sure to voice them in the comment section down below, since different opinions are always welcome. One thing to mention before we get started, I won't be putting the advent calendar on this list because it's not a normal set, so I don't think it would be fair to put it against the same standards as the other sets releasing on September 1st. Starting off with the worst set releasing on September 1st, we have a set which most of you will probably agree is bad, and that is the 75371 buildable Chewbacca, which costs $200 and has 2,319 pieces. Chewbacca as a buildable character does not work well whatsoever, and he is overall translated extremely poorly into LEGO form. The Bowcaster and Bandolier actually look kind of nice, but other than that, this is basically just a meme set, and at $200, I don't think many people will be buying this. This is one of those sets which will probably be on clearance very soon before being hurriedly retired by LEGO. I know that this is probably going to be controversial, but next up on the list, I have the 75354 Coruscant Guard Gunship, which will cost $140 and has 1,083 pieces. This is a good set, but it has quite a few inaccuracies. The minifigure selection is good as well, but the Commander Fox has a completely inaccurate torso point and also doesn't have a waist cape, which is very disappointing. This set isn't bad, like the Chewbacca buildable character, but I don't think that it's good enough to be ahead of the other sets on this list. Next up in third place, we have the 75364 New Republic E-Wing vs Shin Hati Starfighter, which costs $110 and has 1,056 pieces. This set is from the newly revived line of Starship vs sets, and so far it's been very good, with both the Mandalorian Fang Fighter vs TIE Interceptor and this set being exceptional. However, I just don't think that this set is as good as the other two sets, which are going to be releasing on September 1st. In second place, we have the 75362 Ahsoka's T6 Shuttle with 599 pieces for $80. The minifigure selection is really good, with all brand new updated minifigures, which are all amazing, and the ship itself is designed extremely well and even includes retractable landing gear, which we hardly get on any sets these days. There are some small disappointments, such as the cockpit only being able to fit one of the minifigures, but overall, I think this set is good enough to get second. Finally, in first place, is the best set releasing on September 1st, we have the 75357 Ghost and Phantom, which has 1,394 pieces and costs $160. The minifigures are all amazing, but for a $160 set, it's a bit of a lackluster minifigure selection. But the main reason that this set earns the top spot is because of the build. The Phantom looks fine, but the main thing which is amazing is the Ghost. It's one of, if not the best design sets of the year, and has the potential to end up being an all-time great. On top of that, for a price of $160, it's not prohibitively expensive like a lot of UCS sets are. Instead, it's actually a lot more accessible. All of this combined puts it on top of the list as the best set releasing on September 1st this year. Alright everyone, that is everything for today's video. Tell me your thoughts about these sets in the comment section down below. Which do you think is the worst? Which do you think is the best? What is your entire list from worst to best? And overall, do you think it was a good wave of sets or a bad one? And one last thing before you leave, please remember to hit the subscribe button, ring the notifications bell, and leave a like on the video. Bye!